Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple home store. Okay, so first, uh, go to create new game. Click on base plate and create game. Once that's done, go to edit and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded in, go to um, model and make sure all of these are off like that and make sure uh, if you want it to be um, smooth when you move the blocks then you should put them on zero okay so first go to part and then click on what color you want for the floor I'm doing this color and here's the material you can click on whatever material you want it be, you want it to be I'm choosing that one um, and then you can go to transform or you can use scale that would be easier you can just move it to however big you want it to be and uh, let me just make it a bit bigger okay that's and okay so once you're done with that click on anchor and then you can test it to see if it's big enough okay this is big enough I might make it a bit bigger but this is big enough for uh, today's video so then click on stop and then we can start on the walls okay so today I'm gonna be using um, glass click on part and then Click on whatever you want the wall to be. I'm doing a uh, glass and I'm changing the color to this white. Okay, now move it over here and just try your best to make it line up. And you can make it like however thick you want it to be. And yeah. Okay, once you're done with that wall, you can anchor it and go into test and see if it's big enough. Okay, mine is big enough, so I'm going back. And click on it and click on duplicate and rotate it. Also, make sure um, the rotate is on 15 so that it's easier to line up. Okay, now move it so that it lines up. Okay, now make it as long as this. And once you're done with that, you can keep doing it on these sides. Okay, once you're done with that, you c I'm going to uh, click on the wall and go to view and properties. And I'm going to make it transparent a little bit. So that it's like glass. Uh, I'm going to put it to 0 0.3. Okay, once you're done with that, I'm going, I'm going to make some pillars so that it looks nice. So you're going to duplicate it, make it whatever color you want the pillars to be, and then you can make it whatever texture you want it to be. And I'm going to make it not transparent. I'm going to make it a little bit larger than this wall, and this part a bit larger. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little smaller a bit bigger on this side okay there we go and I'm gonna move it a little bit okay there we go and I'm gonna put this on this side and this 
on this side. And then the same thing with the last one. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with this and put one in the middle on each side. You don't have to, but I, I'm just gonna do that because I like it. Okay. And then that here. And this here. For this tutorial, we're just gonna use free models because it's easier if you're a beginner. So, um, go to toolbox and I really like using this home store kit by Avada. I don't know, I don't know how to say her name, but I'll put it in the description because it's easy to use and it's good looking. This is what it looks like. And if you're using it, then you can just um, right click and go to ungroup so that it's easier to get everything out. And I'll be using um, this. So you're going to bring it over and put it down to wherever you want it. You don't have to put it where I'm putting it just what I'm doing so we're gonna do that and then that okay and then I'm going to put another one another uh, two like that Okay, um, this is going to be a tiny one because uh, this tutorial would be pretty long if we uh, made it a large one. So, uh, yeah. Okay, now uh, I'm going to look up mannequin. And then you can find ones that you like. You can use any of them. Just... Yeah, you can use any of them. Okay, I'm using this one. So bring it over there and you can turn it around if you want. Okay, now we're done. We're uh, basically done with the layout. So if you want to put like your store's name, then you can go um, to plugins. And I will put this plugin in the description because you, some of you might not have it. So. You just click on it, activate cursor, and then uh, you can put it wherever you want. I'm putting it uh, right here. And you can change the font. Uh, I'm changing it to that. And then right here you can type in your store's name. Okay, and then go down. You can like change like the thickness of it. And you can change the, how big it is, I'm putting it as that. Um, yeah, you can do a lot of things with it. You can do this, where is it? Uh, leading, actually I don't really know what that does, but. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that makes it like more spaced out. Okay, uh, you can change the color too. I'm changing it to that. And then when you're done, you can just finalize it and then close out of it. Now you can add some lights or uh, plants. So I'm going back to a box and searching up plant. And I'll use this one. You can also add a donation uh, board and I'll leave a disc uh, no, I'll leave a video in the description uh, saying how to put it in. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make a little carpet. So I'm gonna do part, oops, part. And I'll change the color to gray. And I'll make it concrete. Oh shoot, okay, concrete. And then I'll move it down. 
like way far down so that it doesn't really show and I'll make it a bit bigger okay make it a bit bigger over here and then okay so now I'm going to make it on this other side we can move it this way I'm making it like about right here and that okay the carpet is done now I'm just gonna add some little benches I'll make it a bit smaller you can make it smaller by doing a scale and then just doing that okay now I'm gonna rotate it and move it over here might be a little small let me just make it a bit bigger okay yeah that looks good oops okay duplicate and then there okay so I think it's around done um, you can add some lights too oops uh, okay you can add a little bit of lights I would brighten it up. I'll put them right in, right here and then there and then I'll put another one over here. And then for um, if it's still not light enough you can just search up light. Okay if we make this white then Okay, yeah, that'll look good. And then you can put it all the way down so that it's not like too bright, but like, and then you can put it like there. If that's good, yeah, that's good. Okay, now to put clothes on the mannequins, go down to here and then click on the one that you want. So we'll do that one and then go click on that and then click where shirt purchases, double click on the script and then go to your group that has the clothes in it and um, find the shirt that you want to use. I'll use this one and then copy only this, only that number and then go back and then delete that number and then paste the one that you um, just copied. And then when you're done with that, you can close out of the script and then go to this little blank thing and then go to shirt, go to uh, view and then properties. And then right here where it says that, you can paste it, the number again and then enter. And then that's how you can buy it. So now you're going to want to add a try on thing so just look up try on and then you can just use whatever one and then press yes and yeah that's it but um i will show you how to make like um an outside like terrain thing so you can move this and uh you can let's see okay go to view terrain editor edit add and then you can do grass but you can do really whatever you want and then like um there's grass now so yeah you can add that okay once you're done you can um, f you can, uh, find a place to put your, um, home store. I'm just gonna group this really quick. Um, you can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna flatten it. 
the terrain so that it's not going into my store. Or I can just, no, I'm not gonna wait. I think that's gonna work. Um, yeah, okay, that worked. Now, okay, so now you can add uh, some grass. So go click on terrain and then uh, just do decoration and then you should have some. And if you don't want grass like this in your home store, you can, um, okay, that. And then uh, do paint and then this, the leafy grass. So now there's none. Okay, now you can find some trees to put in if you want. So I'm just gonna search up tree. And I'll use this one. Cause it's realistic. Okay, and then just put them wherever you want. Okay, now you can delete the base plate. So right here, and then you can delete it. And then make sure to anchor everything. So go out here and then select all of this and anchor it. And okay, I forgot the roof. Okay, let's do the roof. Uh, you can do whatever type of roof you want just to make sure that it, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make it um, like this. I'm making it a bit thick. Shoot. Okay. Okay, make it, I'm gonna make it like this size. And then that. Okay. Now you can anchor it. So yeah, that's basically it. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. If you want to add music, uh, you can. I'll link this in the description too. It's a really good kit to add music. Um, but I'll put it. Uh, it says the directions in the thing. So I think you should be good. If you want a tutorial of how to use it, then just let me know in the comments, but um, let's see. I forgot, I forgot. Make sure to add a spawn for wherever you want. So go into model and then click on spawn and you can put it wherever you want. So if you don't want it showing, uh, make it a bit small and Okay, so if you don't want it showing, um, you can click on the top until it does that and then delete it and then uh, go to transparent and then make it transparent. Okay, now we'll try it. Okay, here it is. If you want a lighting tutorial, then just let me know. So see, you can try on the shirt. Um, just let me know if you want a lighting tutorial or how to add the music with that, uh, model. So yeah, thanks for watching.